Alrighty, so what do we got here? Well, it looks like Malay apple, but it's not Malay apple at all. It's a uh, it's Lao Lao, Cizigium megacarpa. And uh, this is supposedly a giant one, big variety. And it's, uh, it's big indeed, it's uh, four or five inches across, uh, somewhere in there. Uh, I'm gonna give it a taste test in a second. Show you guys the tree. Uh, similar to a Malay apple, but again, slightly different. The leaves, you know, resemble the apple, the Malay apple, but it's a lot more elongated and uh, slightly different. Than, uh, pretty big tree, pretty big size tree. It's about 30 feet right here, this guy top go back that's what I always want when I see videos of fruits I like to see the tree that they're growing I see their mummy how big is the mummy you know I just don't like seeing uh, the fruit tasting without the <laughs> without the tree how the tree looks you know that's what I want to show here anyways um, I wish I could switch the camera but I can't so let me turn this around Cizigia megacarpa. All right, hope you guys can see this properly. Mm. Mm. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Um, neutral. Resembles Malay apple, like jambu, fresh tree family. But, all right, first thing comes, it's sourness. I'm pretty sure these are ripe. Because you give them a, a little more time and they'll probably go to mush. Um, yeah, they're pretty ripe. But they have a, a, a very nice sourness, you know. Whereas from one to 10, 10 is a lemon. It's probably like a five, six. Somewhere in the middle. Perfect sourness. Somebody who doesn't like sour will like this. Somebody who likes sour will still like this. Beautiful. No sweetness. Um, one to ten for sweetness. Or ten is a cube of sugar and one is nothing. This is a two. Maybe a three if you get a, a different special bite. But no sweetness. Make sure you guys see it. I love it. I love it. It's different. Uh, also, what it comes, it's a string, astringency. It definitely has an astringency. It's not bad, but it's there. I feel in my throat. My uh, my mouth powders. And uh, even though it's so watery, you know, like almost like a, almost like a watermelon, not quite, but you know, very watery fruit. Um, I feel like we, you could drink a glass of water after <laughs> after eating this, just to wipe down your throat. Yeah, it's pretty easy. But, uh, very likable astringency. Normally you couldn't eat astringent fruits, of course. Especially green stuff or whatever, but this is one astringency that you can enjoy. No. Let's go inside here. One big seed on this guy. Uh, beautiful. I don't know if I would plant it. Unless I had the space for it too. But um, honestly, if I eat a few more, I might fall in love with it. You know, sometimes you're over sweet fruits, you know. Everything is sweet, 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 sweet. You need a break from that. And uh, there's not many unsweet fruits there 
there's not that many. You know. <laughs> and the ones that are not sweet, they're savory, you know. You got an avocado, you know. You're not gonna eat that fruit. You gotta eat it with the food. This is a really good fruit, you know. I can enjoy. I'm thinking about lemons. Think about, uh, Sweet and fruit. Yeah. Very good. Very good. No. Wax Jambu is um, it's probably better. Even though they are so neutral, not many people like them. But if you don't like Wax Jambu, you're not gonna like this. I happen to like both. Instead of drinking a glass of water, have one of these fruits. Refreshing. And they have a nice crunch. Nice crispiness. Less crispy than a white jambu. That one is even more crispy. But um, it's in between. It's in between. It's a moderate crispiness, crunchiness. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. I'm gonna eat a couple more. Delicious, delicious. I'll show you the fruit one more time. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, fruits are still growing. A lot coming, a lot more coming here. There you go. <coughs> yeah. And uh, hope you enjoyed this new fruit discovery. It is for me, Sazigium megacarpa, lao lao. All right. Cheers.